What's up, guys? It's Raph in the Raph Cave. Welcome back to another OLED calibration with Calman LG. Now, this here is going to be a calibration of HDR Cinema. This is going to be for all the awesome movies and TV shows that you guys watch in HDR. This is going to give the best quality from your OLED thanks to the i1 Pro meter and the Calman LG software. And of course, your OLED TV. All right, first thing you want to do, guys, is you want to go into your USB stick. And that's where we have the three uh, video files that keep the TV in that particular uh, mode. Um, so all the links in the description below for your meter, the software, and the website to get these files on your thumbstick. So we're going to press the HDR. That gives us a whole hour. All right. So now that we're in HDR mode, we want to select cinema. That's cinema home because that's like an ISF day mode. Cinema more is more of a warmer dark mode cinema. Uh, I put my sharpness to zero. And advanced options, turn off dynamic tone mapping. During calibration, we'll turn it on after we're done. And picture options, make sure everything is off. Off, off, off. And that's good. And then we'll apply yes. And then make sure that your logo luminance meter is off. We don't want any darkening during the, during the calibration. Energy, energy saving is off. And I like to go 16 by 9 and just is on. All right. So now that that's ready, let's go into the software. All right. So OLED, of course, is there. And then we want to do HDR. You can go next. And you want to find your meter, of course. I have the iWrite Display 1 Retail. My meter profile is OLED because I have a different profile on mine. That's the FSI EDR. Thanks to Sammy and Magician for that. Uh, but you guys, you want to select raw XYZ. That's what you guys choose. All right, so now we want to find the source. And you just want to select LG and 2019. And put in your IP address and then connect. And then you want to put in the pin number that's on the screen. All right, that'll connect. And then you want to make sure Rec 2020 is selected, ST2084, D65, awesome. And then you want to make sure you have HDR 2020 on that drop down. And then you want to go next. And then you want to find your LG TV. And you want to choose the 2019 C9 and then connect. Remember, don't do 2020 because the pattern generator is not ready. So choose 2019. All right, and then you're going to uh, select HDR Cinema. And then make sure HDR is checked and BT2020 is checked. And then run a full DDC reset. And then once you're done with that, you go next. Enable calibration. And then go next. 
All right, and this is the grayscale. This is the bread and butter of the calibration. Before we begin, you want to press the gear icon. Make sure you're on the BD2020 power 2.2. And then application measurement, make sure you have DEITP for the formula. And then close that. And then go ahead and do auto calibration. And let her go. All right, guys, much, much better. So we just re-ran the AutoCal and, and destroyed that zero tower there at the bottom. So now we have a very low skyscraper skyline. I love it. We have a nice, nice horizontal line across the board, and a lot of these dots are very close together. Beautiful, beautiful grayscale. All right, let's go next. And then here you just want to run series. I'm sorry, not run series, duh. Auto calibration again on color space. This will be the matrix. This will be quick. It's like less than a minute. It's really nice. And just press OK. All right, guys, once color straight, once this is done, yeah, less than a minute. Look at that. Less than a minute. All right, go next. <clears throat> All right, so this is where we're going to measure the peak luminance and enter it into the luminance, luminance uh, uh, area here. We got a nice bright number, 655. So we put 655 right there. And next and disable calibration next 
And that's it, guys. There is no pre-post comparison, not with this uh, software here. So we're just going to save data. And we're going to edit the name. And name it something that you can remember. HDR Cinema. And go save edits. And save calibration. All right, now we're going to test it. So we're going to disconnect display. And then disconnect the source. All right, and as soon as it goes yellow, boom. All right, so now we'll go up to TV. And I find my remote. Okay, so let's go to YouTube. All right, we're in YouTube. Let's make sure we are on ISF dark, because that's our calibrated mode. And we'll skip this for now. Let's find some awesome HDR footage. HDR popped up in the top right and let's make sure we are in the mode which are not let's go cinema user and we'll go down to advanced controls and dynamic tone mappings on good Picture options should all be off, off, off. And apply to all inputs. And then you can put on the um, the uh, the uh, logo luminance to low or high, your, your preference. Otherwise, guys, here we are. We have a calibrated HDR cinema mode. It is awesome. It looks amazing. It's perfect. I mean, I, I can't. This, um, I'm speechless how good this picture is. Dang. Amazing TV. An amazing, amazing way to calibrate it on your own with the Calman LG software. It's fantastic. I feel great. I'm loving it. All right. Now I'm moving on to HDR gaming next. Hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, get this uh, meter. All the links are in the description below. And you can do this yourself, guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Raph gave out. See ya.